something very magical has happened in this film that you'll see it tonight. Um, our, we maintain that it's really the source that has made this film, not us as individuals. Because we really do have 112 people speaking as one voice with one message. They're that strong, that powerful, from people who have near-death experiences, to people who have wisdom and wise, from uh, I got people from the spiritual. It's just the interesting 12 categories of what makes the world tick. According to the people that have made it tick, and that's the difference. Other people have these movies say, well, here's what you gotta do, you gotta do this, you gotta click your heels three times, and you know, this ain't it. This is, this is what I've done, now, what you, what you want, this is what I did. Uh, it was so easy, or, or kind of seamless to do this score because of all the wonderful people in the, the movie, you know, and there was just so much energy that, that all the themes just came through us, you know, it was just, it was awesome, so. It was very fertile uh, ground, fertile ground visually, and also the content made it very, very easy for us to, to, uh, to create this, this music for it, so it's a proud moment. I was interviewed in the film for my work that I do with pro athletes. I'm a mental performance coach, and uh, a lot of the work I do is everything this movie is about. I actually have been tapping the source in my own way for so many years that it was wonderful to be interviewed and to begin to describe the way of tapping in to help others to do it. I think this is going to be quite good because the, the subject matter is something we all need at this point. I think it's beautiful because I really think it's really important that people understand that happiness comes from within, no matter what. And sometimes the outside world, you know, the material things, we get so stuck in that. And whereas this message really, really helps people understand that you can be happy right now, not one day. I do talk a lot about meditation because for me, I don't know any other way to tap the source. And now I say tap the source, and I say the, t the source of everything, and I know that the movie's kind of taken turns, and, and now it's the source of happiness, and, but it's all one and the same. All these people have the same things in common. Everybody, everybody, every one of them goes into the source, meditation. Every single one of these people come back in and talk about listening. My dad used to be an old uh, ham operator. I said, Dad, they had microphones with switches on them. If you hold the button down, you can't hear anything. Let the button up and listen, and then make some action. As scientists have now done, they are, there are processes where they can actually measure heart energy that is coming from the body. It's actually something that can be photographed and actually measured with machines at this point. So it's more real than just some esoteric thought that we think of. And coming from your heart, I think, is where we find our true creative source. In our tradition, in our culture, meditation has been really sort of uh, ignored. I mean, it's definitely becoming more mainstream now with the advent of this movie and Eat, Pray, Love and some others, but basically it's just been so ignored for so long and it's just so subtle and powerful. Just like The Secret, it will be distributed to bookstores all over the country, in fact, all over the world. And then it'll be available also for uh, streaming and download. There's so much in it. Um you need to look at it four, five, six, eight, ten times. And then you hand it to your son, your, your mother, your daughter, and they'll pass it forward and go, ah, oh, we can do this. Yeah, we can do this.